thank everybody who made it out, even on the last bed one ever. Go Pugs, by the way! I ask everybody in here to raise a glass to the love of a best friend, our friends who are like family, and most importantly, the love of Mr. and Mrs. Southern. <laughs> We have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of Justin Southerd and Kelsey Miller in Christian marriage. I assure you this is no small occasion. Marriage is something more than just a mere commitment or a simple contract. Instead, this is a covenant established by God who created us in his own image and filled us with the capacity to love as God loves. As a parent, when you have a little baby, you just want to make sure that they're safe, happy, and healthy. And Joni and I could tell a long time ago that that little girl did that for Justin. Made him happy. And we couldn't be more happy than you'd be part of our family. <laughs> and the rest of your family, it's just, it's just great. We couldn't ask for anything better as a parent. I've been with you through so many different things in your life. I have never seen you look this happy. <laughs> your marriage and your happiness will go far beyond all this. And so everyone, I congratulate these two. And whether you know it or not, you're my grandson too. <laughs> Justin, when you came into my life seven years ago, I never would have imagined the plans God had for us. You are truly an answered prayer, the best thing that ever happened to me. You've shown me what true love looks like. You are determined, hardworking, kind, <laughs> patient as much as you can be. <laughs> I love seeing you with your family and how much you care and love them. It makes me think about how excited I am to see you as a dad to all the babies that we're going to have one day. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Carly. I'm a really good friend of Kelsey. Thankfully, we both chose to go to Oklahoma State University. Go folks! <laughs> I didn't realize it that she came into my life when God wanted to show me and teach me what the love of a best friend was. So in college, we'd seen each other through relationships and all the phases that, you know, college girls go through in life. And so now we can all, all of our friend group from college can finally say that this day is here and we're so happy for you. And she would always, and I mean always, tell us about how excited she was for this day, finally to find the man of her dreams, <laughs> and all the babies that they were going to have. <laughs> Adam cried. <laughs> oh, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 
<laughs> Hi Justin, God always love you. Whether we are rich or poor, healthy or sick. I'll always be proud to stand by your side and always call you mine. I'll support you in everything you do, along with your hopes and dreams. I'll vow to always protect and keep you safe. I'll do the best to listen to everything you tell me. <laughs> yep. And try to do it to the best of my abilities. <laughs> Holy Spirit has been present and active in weaving these two together to the point to where we have come here today. And so we give thanks to God today for the love that God has for Justin and Kelsey and the love that God has grown within Justin and Kelsey for each other. In Ecclesiastes 4, it says there in verse 9 and 10, two are better than one because they have good reward for their toil, for if they fall, one will lift the other up. to never stop loving you no matter what trials we may face. I promise to give you my unconditional love, comfort, and undying devotion, to not ask you to be more than you are, and to love you for being you. My husband, <laughs> I choose you and promise to choose you every day. I give you my hand, I give you my love, I give you myself, the good, the bad, and everything that is to come. I vow that at least once a month we go on a date night. Because we do a terrible job at that now. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to always keep our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the center of our relationship, future family, and everything that we do. And maybe someday we can have some show winning pigs along the way. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, I can't wait to say I do. I'll spend the rest of my life with you as my best friend. You are my light in the dark, my rock when things get tough. Let's do this. How about yes. you? I love you so much. I have had the pleasure of watching these two from the sidelines as their relationship has grown and developed over the years, as they recounted their relationship and how it progressed. It seemed there were multiple people, likely many of you in this room right here, who approached Kelsey saying, hey, you need to meet this guy named Justin. And after the third or fourth or fifth time of being told this, she finally caved. And it seems like it might have been a good decision. God bless this union and confirm their covenant and continually draw them closer in relationship with you, Almighty Father, and with each other. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. It is my distinct pleasure to declare, Justin and Kelsey, you are now as we like. Justin, you may kiss your mother. You have made my brother into a better man, and I'm grateful for that. Justin, you are a solid, grounded, and the best big brother you could ever ask for. You're my best friend, and I'm so happy for you. My wish for you is that you're always happy and get everything out of life that you want. Let's raise a glass and celebrate these two wonderful people. To Mr. and Mrs. Sutton. <laughs>